In this session, we will look at methods for modifying walls. Just as with structural elements, the wall can be selected and several handles are available to modify the height, width, base, and sides of the wall. Be aware, however, that these handles will modify each layer of the wall independently, not all layers as a group. You will note that there are also handles to flip the wall, which will flip all the wall layers as a group. There is also a modify wall tool. This tool is a combination of four tools, modify form height, modify form base, modify form width, and extend linear form. Select the first tool, modify form height. Note the different methods. In order to extend the wall to the sloped roof, we could use the method to form or shape, since we have the roof form in the model. The modify wall tool can be used to modify each layer of the wall independently, or to modify all layers as a group. This is controlled using the graphic group lock. When it is locked, the layers are treated as a group, and when it is unlocked, the layers are treated as independent elements. Since we wish to extend all the layers of the wall to the roof, make sure the graphic group is locked. Now follow the prompts in the lower left to select the elements. Identify forms or shapes to connect to. That would be the bottom layer of the roof. Accept or reject. Data point, left click in the view to accept. Identify next forms or shapes to connect to or reset to continue. I could select additional forms at this point, but since I do not need to, I will simply right click in the view to reset. Identify the form to extend. Select each of the four walls that need to be extended to the roof form. Note that you can select the wall in any view. In this session, you have seen various techniques for modifying the geometry of the walls and modified the heights of the station wall to meet the underside of the roof. Just as with other building elements, the data on the wall could also be modified using the Modify Properties tool. In the next several sessions, we will start to penetrate the wall with fenestration using doors, walls, and curtain wall. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.